Happy Friday, Pasco County, and welcome to this week's edition of the Pasco Sheriff's Weekly Report. I'm Public Information Officer Melanie Snow. Let's get straight to who's wanted this week. Take a look at these images. On the 13th of November at around 11.52 a.m., an unknown suspect used the victim's debit card to make two unauthorized purchases without the victim's consent. If you have any information about who this could be, call our tips line, or of course you can leave a tip anonymously on our website. And then take a look at these images. On December 6th, a suspect decided to drive this vehicle, this was around 7.45 p.m., through the McDonald's parking lot where the victim asked him to use the coupon on her phone to buy McDonald's. The suspect then took the victim's phone, leaving in an unknown direction on State Road 52. The vehicle appears to be an electric blue two-door, possibly a Mazda. The driver is described as a white male with a full beard and brown hair. If you have any information on this case, again, call the tips line. And in custody this week, we start off with one of our targets of the month, this is Robert Wayne Parton. He was captured by our District 1 star team at the Circle K on Hudson and Hicks Road. He was charged with existing probable cause charges and with possession of meth. And two child abuse arrests to report. First, we have Eric Matthew Pencil, who was charged with aggravated child abuse. And Trevanthony Dewan Brown, also charged and arrested for aggravated child abuse this week. And earlier this week, our deputies picked up Rachel Tan. She was arrested for burglary, armed, inside a dwelling, and forced entry. And take a look at this video. What you're seeing here is our FLIR camera. This is a camera attached to one of our helicopters. Our two chopper pilots were up in the air on their way to assist with an active investigation when this individual, Ryan Fluke, on the ground decided it would be a good idea to shine a laser pointer 10 times at our chopper pilots. Well, they decided to land the helicopter in a parking lot nearby where they then detained Mr. Fluke. He was later arrested and has been charged with misuse of laser lighting devices. And finally today, we have some really good news. If you are a middle school student, our Explorer Post 916 will be opening up for Explorers soon. If you're looking to become an Explorer, maybe you're in middle school or your child is, and they're looking to become a police officer someday, this is a great opportunity for them. Please check our Facebook page where you can find out more information about that. Have a safe weekend, Pasco County. Don't forget to lock those doors at 9 p.m. We'll see you back here next week.